Hello, hello everyone! I'm Intern, and welcome back to the Universum, where I'm having a little bit of a problem. See, I mentioned it a little bit in the last video, and it happened again while trying to record this one. Whenever I try to go from the moon to here, the game just freezes and it won't actually, you know, do anything. It, it's like a soft crash. So yeah, that's been kind of annoying. So I've been looking around on some forums, and apparently people say it starts to get really weird after your population goes over 300. And if you look up here, we have almost 400 people in our little colony. Also, the nuclear plant is about to collapse, which is good because I literally cannot demolish the thing myself and I can't even use it. So yeah, I'll just let that thing collapse. So yeah, what we're gonna do is the population is about 400. Yeah, total population 398. So basically 400. And we're gonna drop it down to 200. Yep. Half of life is just gonna go bye-bye. I feel like a really good dad would make that decision. Criminal ran off with resources, uh, great. That's fine though, we have a surplus of everything now, including steel beams. So there's a few ways we can go about reducing population. I could just smite them all, but I, I really don't wanna do that because I feel like they will like me even less right now. And I feel like there's ways I can do this without getting on their bad side. It's inevitable, but maybe I can reduce it a little bit. But also really quick, I'm gonna upgrade the eatery because I feel like it, and the garrison. And the bunker's been due for it for a long time. And we do have the meteors incoming, so that'll help with things quite a bit. But one thing we can do is trade some of them on the black market. Yeah, ooh, this one's given a blueprint. I don't think I've seen that. They, they want a lot of ecology though. Uh, worth it. I want these blueprints. Ooh. Is that for the, yeah, the Leaning Tower. How many of those do I have? I have two. Oh, I almost have enough for Notre Dame and the Pyramid. So hopefully they'll give more blueprints like that, especially if they cost nuggets. Oh, wow. This guy only deals in nuggets. That's perfect. So we can trade 17 of them for some steel beams and water and some, oh, I don't have enough for that. Okay, uh, more water and, uh, why do I have enough space? Okay, fine. Are they, whoa. Did I, oh, they're disappearing. <laughs> what just happened here? The barracks collapsed. What, how? I promise that wasn't me. Uh, rebuild it. Well then. All right, I really have no idea why that happened. Did it get like vandalized or something? So we only dropped the population by like 20. We have a long way to go. All right, maybe we need another warehouse so we can actually trade for all these resources. And I feel like a warehouse is needed over here. Yeah, where there's a ton of resources. So I'll put one down right there. How are these gas mines doing by the way? About 40% and 56. We're still really low on gas, which is too bad. And since we have so much stuff, I'm just gonna upgrade the cement factory. Well, as much as the barracks collapsing sucked, it did help with population reduction a fair bit, but also no one's coming to pick up the body. Is there no cemetery in range? No, there is. Where's that one at? Is that one. Okay. Ooh! A new UFO just arrived. Oh, I want to zap it instinctively, but they can abduct people, which normally would not be a good thing, but here it's a good thing. And they're over these guys again. I don't know what's so popular about these guys. This is where the UFO froze last time, and I couldn't get to the crate. Oh, the nuclear plant finally collapsed. Oh, good. You were a disappointment. We're going to salvage this and pretend we were never here. We're also going to cancel this guy wanting to build the defense tower because really we're just going to... Forget about this place entirely. And uh, yeah, salvage the water reservoir too. Down it goes. And then we salvage that. Perfect. I also remember that I built some lumber camps out in the middle of nowhere. Okay, good. I was worried I didn't have engineer huts over there, but I do. Might as well give them a little bit of forestry back. And over here. And maybe it's a good idea to build some in places they can't get to easily, like over here. That's looking good. And then another batch over here. Why is there so much road work over here, by the way? Like, there in no way is this travel convenient. Do people even travel on this road? Yes, they do. Why? There's a bridge on the other side. I don't know why you insist on taking this long trek. I'd do anything for some water. Maybe it's a good idea if you don't travel, like, you know, the wrong way halfway around the world. They must have built this road before I put the bridge in place. But yeah, that travel is no way convenient. Maybe it is for people living on this side of the planet. Actually, something I've been meaning to do, but I didn't have enough resources to do it, 
was build an airport, allowing for the creation of major trade routes. Huh. Oh, wow. That bogged down my game a little bit. A uh, good spot for an airport? Maybe around here. It's out of range of some things, which is not what I want. I could build it right here, but those people have an airport right there, which would make it awkward. But I also want it to be like kind of close to town. So maybe I will build it right here as close as I can to other things, which is not an option. Yeah, fine. I'll build it right there and then get an engineer hut with it right around here. So we don't break any trees and then a fire station breaking as few trees as possible. Hey, yeah, right there, whatever. And there's no electricity, of course. I'm starting to think wind power was not the way to go. Maybe I should have just had them run on the treadmill like I wanted. And the population's already back over 400. Man, these guys are really quick to reproduce. I mean, buy babies from Walmart because that's what I said initially, right? Ooh, the meteor's incoming though. That's gonna help. I'm not even gonna stop it. We're just gonna trade for, don't have enough capacities and reservoir for water, really. Fine, I can't do anything, I need, that rare, the warehouse built. Ooh, I could get a comet though. Can I at least buy like 18 food? No, I can't. Why not? Okay, whatever. Where's that? Oh, wow. <laughs> Lightning strikes make them very sad. That's why I don't care. I'm going to make you more sad in a bit. So where's that meteor going to hit? That's what I want to know. It's, oh no, it's happening on the Cosmodrome. No one's out here. It's not worth it. There's literally no, no one out here for the meteors to destroy. I was hoping it land like in the center of town, not way out here. This is not worth it. Like people don't even work here. Can you imagine if a meteor strike came down where the alien was hovering? That'd be hilarious. Just gets crashed down by other space things. I'm hoping the bubble shield stays because I did it a little early. There's 20 seconds left. And the 20 seconds goes by very fast because I am speeding up time. Other people are being like, you know, you can speed the game up, right? I have been doing that. Okay, but now the meteors are here. Whoa, firing from behind me, excuse me. And all right, bubble shield held up very well. Dune and Din would like to trade. Uh, who are they? I'm getting them mixed up. Are they, are they the red ones? They are the red ones. Okay, we like them. What do they want? Plastic for fuel. Yeah, I don't care. I got plenty of each. And there's nothing I'm really short on except, oh, I'm a little short on iron. As in, I'm completely out of iron. Uh, when did that happen? Do I have any iron mines? I think I had one over here, right? Oh, there's an election. Uh, we're gonna focus on religion. I just don't want one of these to be like a contraception ban because then that means the population goes up again. Oh, scientific focus. One. More focus on research rather than religion. Great. I literally have nothing left to research. Whatever. Oh, good. The warehouse is finally built. So now I can buy more things using people. Only in games, am I right? Uh, but these people aren't asking for many. Whatever. I'll just buy what I can. Nine and eight. Um, I'm just gonna speed this up. So we get more people very quickly, or at least more people cost very quickly. Some more there. All surplus will be lost. Yeah, I don't care. And then more trades there. And wow, they want 41 here. Uh, yes. Oh, wow. He's very happy. 30% discount. Wow. They really like dealing with in people, huh? And this guy just does not like me at all. He's marking up the prices. And oh, wow. <laughs> the barracks collapse again. What is going on here? Oh, you know what? I think I know what's happening. It, so when you buy someone from the black market, it picks them at random, right? I think what it's doing is picking one of like the bomber people. And then when they die, they blow up. That's exactly what's happening. Well, you know what? It drops population. So we're just going to do it again. And we traded successfully with Dunedin. So how much do they like us now? About the same. I thought the trades were supposed to like, you know, increase relations but I guess not every time. Oh, what's happening with this building? Are they making it taller? I think they are, yeah. Interesting how it's like the modern construction towers and not the 3D printing stuff. But what do I know? I don't know much about space. I've just been there in the game that is, not, not in real life. That'd be really cool though. So the iron mine is almost empty. This has been lasting a long time, but now there's so much needed for production that it's constantly dry. That's a chink in the hose I was not expecting. Okay, so there was another idea I had for reducing nugget population. See, nuggets keep getting infected because they walk through infected zones. So, what would happen if I just turned off every single hospital and then just let them 
you know, die from disease. Was there only two hospitals? I think there was only two hospitals. Only two hospitals were supposed to be in charge of 400 people. And they're still going up like crazy. Quick, sell some more. Uh, you cost a lot. Yes. And then you, you're marking up the prices. Why don't you want people? Oh, wow. This guy wants a bit, though. 24 and 15. A relic space station. I mean, I do need iron, so I'll take it. And then we just have to worry about a blizzard incoming in fall. We must be in the Midwest. I also feel really bad because I can't send this builder drone anywhere. Ooh, is this the upgraded garrison? I think it is. They're still wearing like very primitive like furs, but they're in business attire. Oh yeah, blizzards here. So I'm not sure the blizzard can actually like kill people. Ooh, they're dying from infection. Good. I never thought I'd say that. Thing is though, the blizzard really doesn't do anything, does it? I'm surprised people are still able to fly cars in this though. Ooh, we got the population below 300, almost. We're doing good towards our goal. We're just selling half our population. Oh, and there's a wolf attack. That's also good for dropping population. And whoa, what happened here? People are literally freezing. Wow, I didn't think that would happen. He's literally an ice cube. That's funny. I've never seen that. Probably because I've never had a blizzard until now. You're welcome. There's also trees growing in the middle of the road. That's a little bizarre. And also people aren't working here because I've been selling a bunch of people. I wonder why they haven't resupplied. Did I sell the mayor? No, I haven't sold the mayor. I've sold the minister of food though, unless he died. Incredibly, selling a bunch of nuggets doesn't make them hate me. Oh, this is one of the upgraded buildings. So they just made it taller by one section and one section only. All right then, here's another idea. Sending a bunch of them to the moon. Like as many as we can. Yeah, we're just gonna send like 40 of them to the moon just because. Whoa, it's already leaving, that was quick. Because you know, there's literally no one up there. So uh, maybe I'll send a bunch of food too because you know, I'm not, a, I'm not that heartless. If you remember how we left it, you know there's nothing over there so they're gonna die anyway. It's not my fault though. They just couldn't care for themselves. And the airport is taking forever to build. Like we have all the resources. Okay, people are just bringing them very sparingly. And here's another idea. If I tell them en masse to kickstart and get back to work, then maybe they'll die from exhaustion. But you know, it wouldn't be my fault. There's also nuggets that are still frozen. Are they dead? I don't think they're dead. He somehow still has plenty of air despite being frozen. His health hasn't gone down. Well, it's, it's down by half, but it's not that bad. More infected zones happening, which means more nuggets will be infected. I'm also completely out of God points for the first time in a while. And wow. Huh, I guess kickstarting them makes them really not like me. Well, since that's all the way over on the evil side, might as well make some use out of it. And this guy's frozen, so he's not gonna care one way or another. And when in Rome, right? And yoink. Oh, that didn't work. Is, is he dead now? Due to blunt force trauma. That was not what I meant to do. Where's your body? Give me you. I meant to do this. Does sacrificing dead work? Uh, no. No, it doesn't. Okay, there was someone else frozen though. Right over here. And this should work. And it still didn't work. Can you not sacrifice them when they're frozen? Or am I just not doing that right? Your actions have earned you an extra believer on your side. Yeah, I would think so. I'm trying to sacrifice people and it's not working. Here's another one. Okay, third time's a charm or something. And then we go yoink. And that still didn't work. Oh, but this one's alive though. He survived. Wow, you win this time. Just kidding. Sacrifice. Ooh, that gave me a hundred creator points. Passed away due to being sacrificed at the temple. Well, yes. Also, the sign says yum yum. I like that. But this still isn't fast enough. Please, black market, have more prices for me. 25. Yes, I'll take it. And 10. And 11. And 6. I guess I have to keep up with these people a fair amount, like regularly, because he was good before, but now he's back down to being just observes. This guy's really happy though. You know, maybe a locust swarm will call some people. I know they usually go for like the supplies, like the food supplies. So really they're not gonna make a dime's worth of difference because there's so much food. Oh, but all those purchases really brought down the population. I know I am below the 300 threshold, but I wanna be down there for a while. So we're going for the 200 mark this time. Ooh, but they're building the airport though. And it's almost done. Really want to see what they do here. It says open trade routes. So maybe we get more options for trade with the other um, civilizations. Oh, it's working though. There's a plane on the runway. Is this a runway or the taxiway? Okay, he's on his way to the runway or something. Or he's just taking laps. Oh no, he's taking off. There he goes. 
So where do you go to? You're literally just flying around in circles. That was so cool. So are you going here? No, you're not. What's over this way? Okay, the red, right? Is this where you're going? Oh no, you're going down here. Boy, I don't know who this pilot is, but he's got some weird flight paths. And he flies down inside the bubble. And the plane landed perfectly. Oh yeah, we're very good relations with these people because these are the green ones. So is something gonna get unloaded? Or are we just parked here? The plane says Nugget Airlines. Nice. Oh, event? Oh, here's a locust swarm. <laughs> They're just attacking a small little food pile there. And this guy's trying to like eat from it while there's locusts here. I'm pretty sure that's how you get sick. All right, but I'll let them do whatever. It's not exactly where I wanted you. A new neighbor, Beauclair. And what are you people? Oh, you're the death people again. It's too bad I nuked the last ones because they would have helped out here. Maybe you'll be nicer than the last death cult. After a while though, I kind of need you to be mean right now to help call my population. Whoa. So these are the colors. This one's purple. Are these mine? I don't think I've seen a purple civilization aside from the death cult that I nuked. And I really can't do anything with them. So people just come and go or something. Whatever. Defense tower, brink of collapse. Wait, this is a defense tower? Okay then. I mean, might as well. Are those locusts gone? Yeah, they're gone. That was the worst locust swarm ever. Why can't disasters cooperate with me when I want them to? All right, who else wants nuggets? You want a lot. Not enough space for resources? Yeah, that's fine. Whatever, I don't care. Ooh, this guy... Will sell me things for a meteor strike. Uh, yes, please. I want to see where that hits. I promise I'm not a bad guy. Oh, wow. This war level has dropped down by half already. Why don't I help out with that? Because I like water. I don't know what I would do if the biggest lake on this planet just dried up. Ooh. The meteor strike happens right here, huh? Now this is more like it. I'm also gonna solve the electricity problem just so the game stops beeping at me. It's not gonna last very long because it ticks down very rapidly, but you know, whatever. Dunedin wants to trade again, huh? They want my iron? Uh, what else you got? They're doing the thing that, they were doing the thing that I did where, you know, getting expensive resources for the cheap stuff. Uh, you know what, just take some chemicals for my bricks. There we go, like that. Solve the electricity problem some more, and oh no, I don't have enough for a defense dome. Oh no, that's terrible. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Woo! Wow. That was quite a bit. And incredibly, the theater survived. Cause you know, gotta protect the important stuff. Wow. The bunker helped no one there. Does a bunker have just more health than a regular building? I don't think it does. But I guess we gotta rebuild. Hmm, that's so, that's too bad. Ooh, but they dropped a space box though. It's been a while since I've had one of these. Maybe this one will blow up. Is it bad that I want that? Maybe I shouldn't say that I want that. It's fine, I'm evil now. I mean, I'm not evil. No, I'm not evil. This is for the good of everyone. You gotta trust me on this. Something about hard choices and strong wills or something like that. Trashing a bunch of buildings on purpose is also a great way to burn resources because I have that luxury now. And now for me to do things, I do need to actually sacrifice people, which thankfully doesn't require much. Hi, you look ready to be sacrificed. Oh, especially with that hat and that shirt. Yeah, no, you've earned this. This is a fashion sacrifice. I like how when I sacrifice them, there's like the heavenly choir of like, oh, it's like, mm, yes, this is divine will. And you look like you could be sacrificed. And goodbye. Movie theater is more building than, or rubble than building. Yeah, I guess because the engineer hut kind of got demolished. I mean, if there's one thing I won't stand for, it's the movie theater being destroyed. Don't you like my priorities? There's a lot of trees here. These can't all be the ones I placed, right? Or, you know, that is kind of a perfect circle. So maybe that is the trees I placed. So the thing was telling me that there wasn't any space for resources. Did this fill up already? It did. Wow. Oh, it looks like the oil wells are Entirely empty. Well, this one is anyway, so might as well demolish it. There we go. Just trash that, salvage that, and you're almost empty as well. So I do need to find a new spot to put oil jacks, and there's really good spots just right over here. I see a 17. I see 18. Can I see 19? Oh, oh, there's 19. Right, right about there. 1919. Very good root beer. 29. Uh, you know what? 1919, because root beer. And then another one over here. 16, 17. Yeah, I mean, this is a secondary one in basically the same spot, so it's not as important. 
1769. Nice. And I suppose an engineer's hut out here too. And a fire station. Population is ticking up again. That means another trip to the black market. Ooh, 20. Very good deal. Except I still need a warehouse. Ugh. How many warehouses do I need? Uh, warehouse right here. Sure. Is that in the way of the road? I think I just put in the way of the road. I don't want that. Come on. Road right there. Or not. And oh my. The Dunedin people are on fire. Oh no. No. I want it. Uh, why didn't I know there was an election? Now they ban contraception, so there's more nuggets being made. Ugh, that's not what I wanted. No, you don't get to celebrate that. I was just surprised that the Dunedin people are on fire. That's a little ironic. Also, you stop doing stuff, so there's no need for you anymore. And it sucks because I can't get into the shield to pick up the box. All right, but anyway, um, I need another... Okay, there's a locust swarm there. That's not soon enough. Is there another natural disaster I can get? Ooh, there's a tornado. Yes, please. Oh, and this guy will give me a blueprint for a meteor strike. Yes, there's just gonna be so many natural disasters incoming. I wonder if they overlap. Because right now it's the tornado. Also, let's check. Eye of the world... Okay, I have two pieces there. I guess they give me blueprint pieces when they like me. Or it's just rare and I happen to be lucky today. Tornado sighted. Ooh. Oh, right in the center of town. Wow. That is ideal for this. Oh, and there's a meteor strike happening in the center of town too. Woo. All right. Um, I'm not seeing drastic population decreases. I'm just seeing buildings get destroyed. That's not what I wanted. And it's just ripping through like the farms and reservoir and whatnot. Oh, and there goes all the energy production too. Oh, rip. Oh, and the batteries get destroyed. The... Oh no, the deer. Oh, why did it have to be the deer? Oh dear. Oh, now nuggets are dying after forever. Man, that was a quite the path of carnage and the meteors are coming down real soon too so is it done oh no it's circling back uh no it's continuing and now because there's no batteries the civilization doesn't have electricity okay tornado's done just in time for the meteor strikes oh my goodness oh wow that was a lot <laughs> Meteor strike over here, uh-huh. And then t tornado carnage over here. Wow, that was awesome. And the best part is it left another rock with a box inside. So we just get to put you there and we just need to rebuild a lot. Amazingly though, it did not damage the population numbers. That's real unfortunate. So can I just tell them to rebuild from here? I guess not. Well, that was fun, but I kind of need all these buildings, so back up they go. Remember when I was talking about that surplus of resources? Yeah, this is how it goes bye-bye. I wonder if they'll freeze in the winter if they don't have heat. Maybe, but I don't think it'll happen fast enough for what I want. Nuggets infected from bad water and nuggets infected. Good. Hospitals are still turned off if they haven't been destroyed already. And now buildings have no water. How many reservoirs got destroyed? I'm completely out of water. Oh, because the water pumps don't have electricity. Wow, it just it just cascades. I don't know if that's the right word, but it does it. Okay, I think that's all the buildings that got destroyed. So they'll all rebuild that and it'll be like nothing happened, just with a smaller population. Speaking of which, ooh, you want 24 nuggets? You got a deal. And you want 10? You got a deal. And you want 20? You got a deal. Tornadoes don't do anything. I know you're furious, but I'll do your deal. Kind of want to speed them up to see if I get another blueprint. Uh, no, I don't, but they want more nuggets. Trade with you and you again. Oh, now he's cheerful. Oh, it actually shows it too. I didn't realize it actually like animated. That's awesome. And this guy looks a lot happier. Oh, you want eight more nuggets? Yeah, I'm fine with that. Okay, so, oh, wow. That was a big just chunk that got reduced right there. Ooh, look at that. We're down to 228, we're almost there. Okay, okay, what else can I do before they start repopulating? How are these boxes doing, by the way? Box weighs a ton and it's highly packed. Nuggets here desperate banging inside. Uh, yeah, open it. Please blow up. Oh, it didn't blow up. Ooh, we got a blueprint though. Notre Dame. Ooh, does that mean we have enough? <gasps> We can build Notre Dame. Oh, no way. I'm totally going to do that. Where? 
Oh, where should I put it? Where should I put it? Um, maybe, maybe, maybe somewhere like, maybe somewhere over here is good. So where's the front? That's the front, right? Wait, why is it saying the front's over here? Isn't it a big like double tower thing, the entrance? Yeah, I don't know. I'll just place it like this. And it's out of range of fire protection. Why do I get deja vu with that? And why did they decide to build a road? over here when I place a structure there. Y'all can get to this without going around, you know that, right? I don't know. Places are still without electricity. We're just gonna hire some bombers again and train all these guys. Oh, it actually doesn't fill up right there. Interesting. Is it because it's out of power? There was the other garrison too, right? Or barracks, but that got wrecked. So no, there isn't right now. That's so cool though. We're building Notre Dame. Okay, I think if we visit the black market again, then we'll be able to make enough purchases to reduce the population enough. Except no one here really wants nuggets now. I well, they want fire though. Well, I want fire. Another disaster incoming. What's incoming? I don't even know because the weather tower got destroyed, I guess. Oh no, it's out of power. Actually, I think I remember seeing locusts. And locusts don't do anything. We'll take that fire, sir. Maintaining a happy civilization has earned you the belief of more nuggets. I've been sending down Disaster after disaster at these people and they're still happy. That is incredible. Ooh, here comes the firestorm. So Are there firefighters working? Because if not, then this is gonna be okay. There's firefighters working here. Ooh, I think you hear something burning already I can't tell because there's music, but Well, I guess not local arsonist has complained the nearby fire is threatening to steal his job. Yeah, there it is Get your marshmallows out I wonder what the response time of the firefighters is. Not quickly enough. Oh, now the fire's spreading to the grass. This isn't damaging ecology, is it? I don't think so. And the notification beeps are making some real fun noises. Oh, the garrison's on fire. Oh my goodness, is there a bomber in there? I think there might be, or maybe there isn't. This civilization just goes south very quickly. And I'm not even that upset because that just means more nuggets die, which is what I want. So the grass is burning right there. Okay, no problem. Oh my goodness. All the buildings in town are on fire. Oh, you know what? I don't think they can put out the fire because there's like no water. Is that what's happening? Let me try this. Trickle over these three because they need it. Okay, they have water now. And I just got an achievement called firefighter. Uh, I don't know what that means. Does that mean you just have like a bunch of fire raging? Stop the fire 20 times. Yes, stop the fire. That's what I'm doing. More nuggets have died. Okay, we're down to 240. We're getting more... Oh, well, they did stop the fire. Oh, and I guess there's no town hall in place, so Nuggets can't get hired again. I guess, gotta put one back. And then all these ministers too. I'm just picking them at random because it really doesn't matter. They all die anyway. All right then, how's the uh, energy production coming along? We have one battery. Good enough for me. Now stop beeping at me about electricity. And they want bricks for fuel, that's fine. This place is trying to rebuild, but it's still on fire. Oh, yep, there it goes. It collapsed. Rebuild and rebuild. I guess that was really early because it just collapsed again. The glass factory isn't looking good. Well, why though? Oh, no electricity. Right, right, that problem. And the garrison's still burning over here, but I think places are getting there fast enough. Or maybe they aren't. Yes, they are. <laughs> the place is on fire, but they're still able to keep up with the repairs. Okay, please tell me you want people. No one wants people. Speed up. Refresh. 10 and 5, that'll be good. And then, refresh again. Ooh, here we go. 19 and 9, a blueprint piece for a meteor strike. Yes. <gasps> the pyramids. That's all he needed, right? Okay, so yes, nuggets disappear, go bye-bye, so long. Okay, so we have, we have less than 200 uh, nuggets that can work, but we still have like 20 children. That's a lot, also. Uh, here we go, legendary buildings. Yes, we can build a pyramid. Oh, that's smaller than I thought it would be. Whatever, pyramids go in deserts. You go right there. And that just takes a ton of bricks. Of course. Meteor storm incoming. Oh man, right there. Yeah, I'll let it. And this box has barely been researched. I guess they must have just finished the other one. Numbers are going up again. I can't wait for the meteor strike. Speed up. 23 and 16. Oh, these are it. These are the numbers that I want. And come on, all of you disappear. Oh yeah, so many. How did somebody die? Oh, yeah, the barracks blowing up. Right, they do that. And there we go. We got population less than 200. That's what I want. So as soon as the meteor strike is done, I'm gonna go see if 
That helps the situation with the game freezing up. Oh yeah, here it comes. Oh, big one right there. Bam-o. Honestly, I'm surprised how small the impact sites are. What's also more surprising is the road doesn't get destroyed at all. Just all the buildings around them. But at least now we get another box. There's also all these buildings get, that got wrecked. Must have been from the fire. I still love after like four days of nonstop torment from the skies. They're still the happiest like they've ever been. And the crime is low. That's amazing. All right, so now to go see if that fixed the loading problem. Also, really quick before I travel, I just realized that the age of the civilization is 666 years. So I guess this doomsday was inevitable. But anyway, let's go see if it worked by traveling between worlds. And if it doesn't work, then well... I can't really make videos on this game for a while until I fix it. So fingers crossed, here we go. So I've been sitting in this loading screen for five minutes, which tells me that doing a Thanos on my population has not solved the problem, which is really too bad. Well guys, hope you enjoyed that attempt at solving this problem. Yeah, so until they fix this issue, um, can't really do universe and videos for a while because, you know, half the game doesn't work and I wanted to build up my moon base and that hasn't worked. So I hope you guys have been enjoying the video so far. I hope you enjoyed this one too. And I guess I'll see you when they fix this. So sub to intern.